the Purify 03, the Sleep 8, the Lumen, and the Lumen. We're going to start off with the AirSense 10 and the Purify 03 combination. So, uh, so let's just go ahead and check it out. Mike, if you can get a close up here of the AirSense 10. This, this is uh, what you're probably super familiar with is the AirSense 10. Um, this particular interface that I have here is the Rio nasal interface and it's a real good one. It's inexpensive. It's on our website, but this is just an example. So you may use a nasal mask or a mask over your nose and mouth. Anything that you're using is going to be fine. It's going to operate really in the same way that I'm about to show you right now. But let's just say, okay, you got the Purify 03 already charged up. When you buy the Purify 03, you get the little case the Purify 03, and also some charging cables. You want to make sure that it's fully charged before you try to use it. Most people just leave it plugged in all of the time, and that way when it's time to use it, it will already be fully charged. It will not work whenever it's plugged in uh, to the wall, so it has to be charged in order to use it. So let's say you just woke up in the morning. You take your nasal interface off, and you're ready to clean your, your uh, CPAP hose, water reservoir, and mask. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and disconnect the hose. This is a heated hose that we have here. You notice it's got the 90 degree bend on the end. It's got the little electrical component there. And disconnect the mask from the other end of the hose. So what we're going to be doing is um, you would think that you might connect the heated hose right onto the Purify 03 the way you do your CPAP. But it does not fit. So what you're gonna to wanna to do with that heated hose is actually connect the opposite end to it, which we will do here in just a minute before we place this into the bag. So let me set the Purify 03 aside. Now, the end of the heated hose that connects to the CPAP machine is now gonna be where you will connect your mask to the system. So just get that connected. We want the ozone that the Purify 03 creates to actually flow through all of the tubing. And that's the reason that we're connecting it up this way. So once you have that, then you just place your mask, all of this tubing into this bag, like so. And finally, the end that we're gonna connect to the Purify 03 will now easily connect right on there, like so. Um, and then you're gonna just place, you're gonna actually just turn it on right here. You just hit that button once. It tells you that it's on, it's running. You place it in there, zip it up. And this one, because it does not have any sort of filtering system, if the ozone should escape the bag, it's not filtered in any sort of way, which is a plus and a minus for one thing. Um, it's not good to breathe ozone. So I recommend set this in a room separate from the room that you're in. Let this run. It's going to run for about 30, 35 minutes and your CPAP hose and mask will at that point in time be clean, free of virus, bacteria, mold, all of that. Do the AirSense 10 with the Sleep 8 CPAP cleaner. So first thing I want you to know is whenever you do purchase a Sleep 8, you're going to get the Sleep 8 machine, of course the charging cables that you need to get it charged up, and this really huge Sleep 8 bag. Great thing about this bag is that you can get your CPAP mask, your hose, and your water reservoir all into the bag with one cycle of cleaning. So that's really cool. Um, you have to get a new bag about every three months, roughly, um, and there is a cost involved in that, but it's not too terrible. And the reason is because there's a charcoal filter built onto the bag so that when the ozone escapes out of the bag, it turns the, char the um, ozone back into regular oxygen, which is really, really valuable. Um, so that's what you get when you purchase a Sleep 8. So let's just imagine that you're using the AirSense 10 CPAP machine with this particular nasal pillow system. You just woke up in the morning, you take your nasal pillow system off and you want to clean your water reservoir, your nasal pillows or your nasal mask and the hose. What you're gonna wanna do is of course disconnect the hose. In this case, we're using the, um, the um, heated hose from, from RestMed and disconnect the mask as well. And now with this bag, I want you to notice that there is on the bottom of the bag, this little adapter. We're gonna be connecting the Sleep 8 machine to that adapter here in just a moment. Now check this out. That same adapter from the inside of the bag 
is down at the bottom of the inside of the bag and I'm just pulling it through so that you can see right here is where you're going to want to connect your hose. Now first thing is the, the um, heated hose will connect on there just like so and then you can make sure your mask is connected as well. Just place all of that into the bag and this just take a second to get this all tucked in here. Placing all of that into the bag. And we want to clean our water reservoir as well. So let's take the water reservoir out, open that up. Um, this is just me. I like to disconnect things when I'm cleaning. So there's this seal here as well. So we're just gonna place all of this into the bag as well. Got it in there. All right, and then the bag will seal up. It's kind of like, almost like a Ziploc kind of thing. Just pull that across, it seals up and it kind of clicks a little bit at the end to ensure that it's fully sealed up. And it's very important to actually connect that tube in the bottom of the bag because you want to be sure that the ozone is actually going through and through your tubing. Now notice on this adapter, I don't know if you saw it earlier when you were looking, but there is a blue dot right there. And then on the Sleep 8 machine, there's a blue dot on the top right there. So we're going to line those two blue dots up, put it together like so. And now you simply just lay this up wherever you're on your counter, on your bed, you hit the on off button right here and you're going to get a digital display that shows you that it's actually running. So it's actually filling up the bag right now too. Um, it's going to run through its cycle and whenever it's complete, it's going to beat five times. Once it's beat the five times, you can shut everything off, take all your stuff out of the bag. It's going to be super clean and ready to use again. So that's the Sleep 8 with the ResMed AirSense 10. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, now we're going to go over the AirSense 10 with the Lumen and the Lumen Bullet. Um, first thing I want you to note is that if you want to use this Lumen Bullet and you have an AirSense 10 heated hose, check out this heated hose. Now that's probably going to look familiar. The bullet and this heated hose is not compatible for two reasons. The bullet has to be able to pass through the hose and obviously it's not going to pass through this um, with a 90 degree bend. Additionally, the other end of the heated hose has this little piece here that blocks the uh, bullet from going through. So if you do have the heated hose with the ResMed AirSense 10, I would recommend just get rid of the heated hose. Instead, use your basic standard hose. They're far less expensive. If you're using this standard hose with your AirSense 10, you're gonna have a new setting that you can uh, now have the ability to manually set the temperature of the heated humidifier. Um, you can set it at whatever setting you want to. The higher the number, the warmer the water, the more moisture and humidity it's gonna create, the lower the number, the less. So you can just set that manually and use this standard hose, which is totally compatible with the, um, with the bullet. So um, what I would recommend is get you a standard hose um, from us or from wherever. They're like $7 on our web website. And now you can use your AirSense 10 with the Lumen and the Lumen Bullet. So let's say you just woke up. This is your nasal mask. You want to clean your mask, your hose, your water reservoir. Um, first thing to do is just disconnect your hose from your machine, disconnect your hose from your mask, and we're going to actually do the bullet second. But first, we're going to, in the Lumen machine, clean our water reservoir and, um, and our mask. So the water reservoir just needs to come apart like so. I like to also take this little seal out. Now check out the um, Lumen machine. It's, it's really just a cabinet with a drawer. And I'm gonna pull this drawer all the way out so that you can see a little more about this machine and how it works. If you look up inside there, you see the little lights that creates the UV light that will actually kill mold, bacteria, and virus. Um, when you receive the machine, you'll need to plug that light in yourself. It's super simple. You just take it out of a little box and just sort of plug it in. And so far out of selling these, we've never had a light burn out. And we are told that probably the machine will wear out before the light does. Now check out the drawer. The drawer is just a ton of mirrored sides. This way the UV light is bouncing off of those reflective uh, sides and bottom. And then finally, you have this little piece, uh, it does come out, but the purpose for this is to just raise up off of the bottom surface whatever you're cleaning so that the light can surround 
the, the item that you're cleaning completely. By the way, I'm sure you might already know this, but the, the Lumen is good for cleaning all kinds of things. I clean my keys in mine, my cell phone, um, I clean my calculator, all kinds of things. So, so really there's just a ton of different things that can be cleaned using this Lumen machine. So it really doesn't matter exactly how you place all of your items into the, into the Lumen. The idea is just to, to be sure to get everything in there. And um, actually I might not have placed it in there very strategically. Let me try that again. That, 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 and then, then my mask. So now with everything in the drawer, just close the drawer. This one is fast. You hit the button right there. It's saying in cycle now takes five minutes. In five minutes, everything that's in that drawer is gonna be completely free of virus mold and bacteria. Uh, stay with us, I've got other videos. Check out this one right here.